And now, a commentary from Umiya Abu-Jamal. The politics of the present. If the media is any measure, Illinois Governor Rod Blagojevich is the most corrupt Chicagoan since the infamous Al Capone. His visage beams from every cable and news channel, the latest prey on the horde of hunters who inhabit the media safaris. They're on the prowl for a juicy quote, hopefully enriched by an expletive. But what did he do besides rat on the phone and curse like a prison guard? Does anyone think that the private phone conversations of any politician in America are substantially different? And what is American politics but ambition and gain? Nearly two centuries ago, that great French visionary, Alexis de Tocqueville, observed, Then politics, the American citizen, knows no higher profession, for it is the most lucrative. Statements standing alone are not crimes, no matter how shocking or objectionable. Unless an offer is made and accepted, that is, unless there is an overt act in furtherance thereof, there is no crime. In fact, the recent court filings may have preempted the actual crime. Blagojevich may or may not resign, but if so, it'll be not because he committed a crime, but a blunder. Few of us can bear the scrutiny of our private conversations with our friends, our erstwhile allies, or our spouses made public. It is a measure of our present political hour that a high government official, like a governor, can be wiretapped so easily, essentially on a whim. I'll bet there are 49 state governors who are suddenly more circumspect while on the line. Does anyone really think that politicians aren't in it for money and power? Name the American president who, upon leaving the White House, didn't make a pile. The possible exception may be Jimmy Carter. Clinton cleaned up like a vacuum cleaner. Bush 1 went on a global gimme tour. Bush 2 is getting ready to cash in. How many wars have been declared, not for democracy or for weapons of mass destruction, but for corporate advantage and attainment of great wealth? Blagojevich may be an SOB, but he's an all-American SOB, with his like in every legislature and most government offices in the land. He's the American way. From death row, this is Mumia Abu Jamal. These commentaries are produced by Noel Hanrahan for Prison Radio.